so this is some bonus material on dealing with fear I feel is valuable. I didn't have time to put it into the fear not message, but I think it will be very helpful for those who are interested, and obviously you are because you're here, so here we go. You might think of yourself as being fearful of very little, or you might think of yourself as being a, more of a scaredy cat. It doesn't really matter. We all fear something. You know, we fear snakes and rats and bats. We fear bullies and mean people. Uh, some people fear heights or flying. Some are afraid of clowns or bridges or water. I could go on and on because we've got all sorts and all kinds of fears. You know, fear of criticism, fear of messing up, fear of letting people down, fear of losing a loved one, fear of speaking in front of a group of people. What do you fear? And what do you do with your fear? Fear is a God-created emotion meant to protect you, not to crush you, not to control you, not to confuse you. Now, whenever Jesus tells you to fear not, it is to assure you that he is with you always, even when there is something to be afraid of. You don't have to be ashamed of your fear or think you should have no fear because it is a God-given emotion and it's meant to slow you down. It's meant to tell you, hey, proceed with caution. And it's meant to tell you, pay attention to your surroundings. But God doesn't intend for fear to paralyze you, as I said. That's what the devil wants to do. That's what selfish and evil people want to do to you. Sometimes your own thoughts want to do that to you. They want you to uh, be paralyzed by fear. God tells you to fear not because he doesn't want your life to be disrupted negatively. He doesn't want your life to be destroyed. He doesn't want your life to be distorted all because of fear. So on a very practical level, what do you do when facing a fear? You know, you hear that rattle of a rattlesnake. Well, you pause. You pray. You proceed with wisdom. How about another example? You fear seeing that coworker or that boss or that teacher or that schoolmate because all they do is criticize you. What do you do with that fear? Well, you pause, you pray. You know, Lord, are any of these criticisms valid? And you proceed with wisdom. Sometimes proceeding, sometimes moving forward in faith, not allowing fear to paralyze you is enduring mistreatment for the sake of Jesus. As his follower, you represent him. Sometimes proceeding is taking a big risk, even though you're scared. Sometimes it might be speaking from the stage. Sometimes it is engaging in the battle, saying unpopular things, being persecuted for your faith. But remember, you don't have to be afraid, even when there's something to be afraid of, because Jesus is with you always. Fear is positive in the sense that it humbles you some, and it also causes you to look to the only one who can crush all your fears, and that's Jesus, the risen Savior. Pause, pray, proceed with wisdom.